When her pulse stopped, the beyond revealed itself, get ready to be amazed. In the midst of her crazy career whirlwind, she was deep into the grind, clocking a solid 40 hours a week. But that wasn't enough for her. On top of her regular job, she threw another 20 to 30 hours each week into this massive government forensic project, trying to crack the code on missing people in her country. And it's not like she stopped there. She still found time to kick it in martial arts and pump some iron, not just building muscles, but also some pretty tight bonds with her pals. Health concerns were just background noise in the chaos of her life, drowned out by her insane dedication. Then, in the middle of this career circus, she had a showdown with a government buddy, a real drama twist in the story of her life. This emotional roller coaster wasn't just some disagreement, it was a game changer, a wake up call that set her on the road to finding herself. For her, this clash was more than just a fight, it was the first hint that something big needed to change. It was the moment she decided to step away from the craziness, the 40 hour work weeks, and the never ending quest to solve the mysteries of the missing. She dropped the weights, left the martial arts dojo, and said goodbye to the comfort of her friends. But that wasn't the end, it was just the start. This was the turning point that kicked off her journey of self-discovery and renewal, a trip that took her beyond the regular world. When nothing seemed to fit anymore, she made a big move on October 18, 2021. She pulled out of the project, quit her job, ditched her workout routines, and ended a relationship. That night, she hit the hay around midnight, and that's when things got seriously interesting. Suddenly, she was in this crazy void, no space, no time, just floating. Then, she felt a presence next to her, kicking off this wild gallery tour. This gallery had endless squares, each showing scenes from her life, all happening at the same time. The colors were intense, lots of red, orange, and yellow. The entity with her was like a tour guide, explaining the scenes as they rolled through. And in the middle of it all, this massive calm washed over her, like everything was fundamentally chill and untouchable. They went through each square one by one, one scene stuck out big time, her grandma giving her a hard time, but she wasn't just watching, she was in a whole different dimension. She saw everything, the pain, her grandma's rage, from this panoramic view. Despite the surface normalcy, a deep sadness hit her, realizing how much emotion someone could carry. Meanwhile, the entity kept explaining what was going down. So, they're going through this crazy journey, hopping from one square to another, and then they hit this huge one with a couple and some dudes back. She's getting ready to step into this square solo, but bam. Suddenly, it's like she's in a whole different universe. It's all mysterious, like she's on the brink of some new life or something. And guess what? Vishnu pops up. Yeah, the guy himself, sitting on the grass like a chill tube in a simple brown outfit with a sky that's all pink and gold in the background. This meeting gives her this crazy feeling, like nothing she's ever felt on earth. Vishnu's telling her she's in a place beyond our human ideas of good and bad, where stuff like pain is like its own dark and heavy dimension. He's saying sacrifices and rituals don't really matter, and we're all free to do our thing. In one hand, he's holding a wooden spoon, and in the other, a white flower. Oh, and fun fact, Vishnu doesn't have a navel. This connection she has with Vishnu, it's like this silent swap of deep knowledge. Vishnu's got these eyes that are bigger than human eyes, this long blue body, and skin that's thick and dry. As she's trying to wrap her head around all this, Vishnu starts changing his appearance. At first he looks like her therapist, then herself, and then just a bunch of random people. The face stays the same, but it's like it's made up of bits of different folks. When she asks who he is, he just smiles and says he's the essence of all humanity. Casual, right? Then she has this light bulb moment. She realizes that life on earth is like this vessel for experiencing all kinds of emotions. Pain, joy, suffering, pleasure, it's all part of this crazy tapestry of existence. Vishnu saying these things are like illusions and don't exist in the otherworldly realm she just saw. She wakes up, realizing she kinda stopped breathing for a sec. Looking at her phone, it's 1 o'clock a.m. She decides to keep this whole wild experience to herself at first, not sure if it's real or just in her head. But then, her health takes a nosedive, and turns out, she's got a cancerous ovarian tumor. Surgery happens, and during it, she sorta dies for a moment. 
she's in this peaceful place, playing with a kid on lush grass. Back in the land of the living, the doc's urgently calling her name and giving her a slap. Now, here's the kicker. She thinks she might have encountered death in October 2021. She starts digging and finds links between her experience and Hindu mythology. Her shrink suggests it's stuff buried in her brain, but that doesn't match her Catholic upbringing. She was expecting Christian symbols, not Vishnu. More tests show a non-cancerous mass in her uterus, and she's back to good health. She finishes her project successfully and now wants to embrace life with all its twists and turns. Sometimes she wonders if people would act differently if they had experiences like hers. This whole thing makes her feel responsible, like she has to do right by others, and she's determined to stand up for herself. Knowing that others went through similar stuff helps her face death without fear. And there you have it, the end of her tale. She's throwing out an open invite for thoughts that go beyond religious borders. Until next time, she's sending good vibes and blessings your way. Thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this story and would like to hear more like it, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to stay updated on his future adventures and insights.